if you're looking for something to do next weekend, how about a little rock and roll? The El Paso Rock and Roll Border Legends concert is next Saturday. Joining me live to talk about it is organizer Rick Kern. Rick, thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Dan. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the event. Well, th this event's going to be our third annual concert. We, you know, we started doing this a couple of years ago, and uh, this year we're featuring Randy Fuller from the Bobby Fuller Force coming in to be a part of our show. Uh, we've got some great bands. We've got Rod Crosby and the Intruders, Moon Pie Dance Band, uh, some really neat performers, the Wild Ones, Bobby and the Premiers from the past, uh, Zoomer Roberts, uh, one of our local favorites. Uh, it's going to be a great show. And now the headliner, Randy Fuller, he's the brother, of course, of Bobby Fuller, famous for the song, I Fought the Law, correct? That's correct, and uh, he's, he's, we're real excited about having him. We wanted him here last year, and things came up that he couldn't be here, so we're just ecstatic that he's going to be here this time. It's going to be a lot of fun playing with him. And a lot of these, these bands bring up a lot of memories for a lot of people in El Paso. They tell me that you're also uh, putting together a documentary about the, the whole scene when these, when these bands back in the heyday. Tell me a little bit about that. That's correct. We're, uh, the documentary is, is kind of a thing that I've been working on for the last couple of years. And it has to do with the inspiration of wanting to you know, bring back the memories and, and talk about the fire and the, you know, why we do what we do. In fact, that's the name of my documentary. It's What I Do. And uh, we're really excited about trying to bring back these stories again and, and why these musicians keep doing what they do. You need the, you need the help of some of the folks out there. You, you need to collect, I guess, material for the documentary, pictures, videos, anything people may have. Yeah, I'm looking for, you know, vintage uh, film that we can get, like from home movies, things like that, that we might be able to use in the documentary. It would just be, you know, it's real hard to find this kind of stuff because back in those days we didn't really shoot a lot of videos so you know if, if anybody out there has got some I'd really like to have it and, and see if we can use some of it in the in our documentary all right mr. Kern well the El Paso rock and roll border legends concert is next Saturday at East Sutton Hall that's off Country Club Road 7 p.m. it's ten dollars a person for more information just call that number on your screen 252-9840 again that's 252-9840 mr. Kern thank you so much for being with us thank you Dan pleasure being here Come, I tell you, we got some great ones coming up. Our next act, ladies and gentlemen, I talked to her about, I guess, two or three months ago. She called me and she said, when I heard about this, Rick, she said, I want to come and be a part of this event. She said, I'll move equipment. I'll do anything you want to do. And I said, oh boy, do I have something for you. I asked her to be the MC for tonight because she has done such fabulous work. When she left El Paso, I mean, she was great in El Paso, but wait till you hear what's coming up. i got to first tell you a little bit about her. We already know that she used to play with Hugh Prestwood with the Medicine Man back in the 60s. She was Grammy Award nominee. She's had numerous international hits for songs recorded by Laura Branigan, Melissa Manchester, Al Jarreau, and a hit by Patti Loveless. As a vocalist, she has been heard on national radio. She has done jingles for McDonald's, Taco Bell, United Airlines, Peter Pan Peanut Butter, and many others. She has recorded with Dolly Parton, Al Green, Willie Nelson, Kenny Rogers, and George Jones. As a solo artist, she has nine nationally charted singles. She is truly one of El Paso's border legends. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Taylor Good. When we were first getting together, I told him about my mountains, my El Paso mountains, and I couldn't wait until I could bring him home and introduce them to him. My mountains, my mountains, my mountains. We finally come. He's from Pennsylvania. And he looks at our beautiful mountains and he says, they're brown. <laughs> Yes, they are. Anyway, I'm thrilled to be doing this song for this audience. Mama can't see me get off the plane. Her eyes aren't what they used to be. Daddy can't carry my 
my suitcase It scares me to see him so 